Welcome, in this video we are doing a data speed test of Verizon postpaid versus prepaid versus US mobile versus visible. I think we see some super interesting results here and you can clearly see the difference of paying for postpaid data priority versus the prepaid priority available on the Verizon network. Let's get into it. Here we have Pixel 4a on Visible, Samsung Galaxy S20 on US Mobile Super LTE with no data speed caps. Here we have Verizon Prepaid on Pixel 3a, and here we have Verizon Postpaid. This is their Play More Unlimited plan on Galaxy S20. Ideally, I would love to have these all on the same device. Thank you for understanding. I do not have four $1,000 flagship phones. I'm trying my best here. Let's dive into NetMonster so you can get a little bit more information about what bands these phones are connecting to. You can see all of them are on Verizon. Uh, most of them here using the 1900 megahertz uh, band all on Verizon 4G LTE. Uh, you can kind of see what those are connected to. Diving into Cell Mapper here, we can see Visible is on band five, US Mobile band 66, Verizon Prepaid also band 66, and Verizon Postpaid looks like it's using band two. Uh, but these all are on Verizon. Let's jump into the Ookla speed test application so we can run some data speed tests. I wanna point out all phones are connected to the same server, the Nitel server, and let's just jump right into it. First up, we have Visible. Here we have the download and the upload and the results, 5.43 megabits per second down, 1.85 megabits per second up. Next, we have US Mobile Super LTE. We have the download, we have the upload, and we have the results, 37.5 megabits per second down, and 13.7 megabits per second up. Next, we have Verizon prepaid. Here's the download, the upload, and the results. 15.7 megabits per second down, 7.73 megabits per second up. If we were to run all of these at the same time, you can see pretty much all of the prepaid plans have the same data speeds and data priority. All of these got a QCI value of nine. They all have the same prepaid data priority. I'm presuming the S20 is getting faster speeds right now because it does have slightly better LTE modems inside of it uh, for potentially a faster connection. But overall, these speeds have been very consistent and very similar for me as I've been running these speed tests. Okay, so with this speed test done, you can see visible, 5.24 megabits per second down, just under three megabits per second up. US Mobile Super LTE, 19 down, 11.9 up. And Verizon Prepaid, 10.4 down, 7.15 up. Now let's run a Verizon Postpaid speed test. This is on their Play More Unlimited plan, which includes 50 gigabytes of postpaid data priority. And there you go, you can really see that postpaid priority it's hitting just under 50 megabits per second, over 50 megabits per second for the download speed. And now moving on to the upload speed, and it should be pretty similar. I don't believe there is prioritization involved when it comes to the upload speeds. You can actually see US Mobile Super LTE and Verizon Prepaid had slightly faster upload speeds than Verizon Postpaid in this example. But yeah, where you'll notice the data prioritization is in those download speeds. So take a look, Verizon Postpaid 51.7 megabits per second down, 5.23 megabits per second up. Here again, only 19.3 and 10.4 megabits per second on US Mobile and Verizon Prepaid. Now let's run these tests side by side. If we do Verizon Postpaid versus Verizon Prepaid, you'll see some interesting results. Verizon prepaid starts off super strong here, but then the moment the Verizon postpaid test kicks on, prepaid drops in speed. Do you see that? It kind of starts off super fast, slopes down and slows down as it is deprioritized on the network. And I believe the reason this is, is because both of these phones are connected to the same server and it is prioritizing Verizon postpaid over the prepaid connection. Here are the results, 10.9 down and 4.62 up on Verizon prepaid, where we have 47 down and 5.6 megabits per second up on Verizon postpaid. Next, we can do Verizon postpaid versus US Mobile Super LTE. Again, US Mobile starting off super strong here, 50 megabits per second, 
But the moment Verizon Postpaid kicks on, US mobile speeds are deprioritized and slowed down. And the moment Verizon Postpaid finishes, US mobile is able to speed up. I think this is super interesting. It almost makes like a smiley face curve. When US mobile has full access, the speeds are fast. When Verizon Postpaid kicks on, the speeds decrease, and then they increase in speed again the moment Verizon Postpaid has finished the data speed test. The results here happen to be 43.3 megabits per second down on US mobile, which was faster than the 32.5 down on Verizon Postpaid, and then 11 up versus 3.88 up. In this example, US mobile ended faster, but again, you can see specifically where it was deprioritized. Lastly, we have Verizon Postpaid versus Visible. Again, Verizon Postpaid just absolutely kicking it right now. 50, almost 50 megabits per second down and Visible chugging along at 3.8 megabits per second down. This is why you pay for postpaid data priority. Your speeds are prioritized over all other prepaid connections. And as you can see from the results we've been getting, this often yields faster speeds, better performance, and an overall better experience. Verizon 55.2 down, Visible 3.9 down, and Visible 2.45 up, Verizon Postpaid 5.45 up. Let's run all tests at the same time just to see how they compare. I would expect the prepaid to start off strong and then the moment Verizon kicks on, start to slow down again. And here you can clearly see the difference between the prepaid data priority. Again, these all have a QCI value of nine, which means they are deprioritized versus Verizon postpaid, getting that premium data on the Verizon network. All Verizon plans currently include 50 gigabytes of premium data. And then after 50 gigabytes, you would be getting the same speeds you are seeing here. So in order from first to last, we have Verizon Postpaid, 40.8 megabits per second down. Then we have US Mobile Super LTE with 16 megabits per second down. Then we have Verizon Prepaid, 5.42 megabits per second down. And lastly, Visible, 2.07 megabits per second down. And the upload speeds were very similar across the board. 2 megabits per second, 11.5 megabits per second, 3.57 megabits per second, and 5.33 megabits per second. So there you can clearly see the difference between Verizon's prepaid service and their postpaid offering. This is why people pay for postpaid premium data on the Verizon network. The last test I wanna run for you here is a fast.com data speed test. This is how fast Netflix will stream on your device. And you can see Verizon has actually capped the Netflix data speeds. All devices here are capped at two megabits per second, except for whatever reason, Verizon prepaid. I've been getting slightly faster speeds on prepaid, I'm not sure exactly why. This is the 15 gig Verizon prepaid plan, and it's getting pretty consistently around 3.5 to four megabits per second uh, with fast.com. But yeah, the other plans, as you can see, are capped at two megabits per second, visible capped at two megabits per second, US mobile capped at two megabits per second, and even Verizon's own postpaid data plans capped at two megabits per second, when you are streaming for Netflix. And interestingly, Verizon has chosen to default video streaming quality to 480p on all of their postpaid plans. Now you can go into your account settings and change this to 720p HD video streaming, but it is interesting. I believe Verizon is just trying to reduce the bandwidth on their network and increase the overall network capacity. That wraps up this video. It was super fun to make and see how the plans compared. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this one and visit my website, bestphoneplans.net to easily compare plans, prices, and features. I'm Stetson, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.